Great games at your table. This is Jonathan Alvin, Nikos RPG, Game Master Soapbox. And today we are going to be spending some time, probably uh, quite a bit of time, because I want to cover this subject very deeply. Who would be your dream team of players at your table if you're a Game Master and a Storyteller? Who would you want to be sitting at your table if you could pick anybody at all? <clears throat> and I've listed eight different categories here of possible people we could talk about. And I'm going to start off with social media personalities. Now, there are a lot of folks that you'll watch videos from, and you may have your favorites. You may have chosen particular folks that you would want to um, <clears throat> sit at your table. And there might be a lot of different reasons for doing so. Now, maybe they are people you would love to meet with in any kind of capacity and therefore the environment of a tabletop game sounds like a fun way to, to meet people or perhaps they are people that either agree with you or disagree with you politically and you'd like to get an idea of how they would play through situations and sometimes it's just people that you would uh, really love to take some time and pick their brains and Role-play games are a great way to get to know people and to get to understand more about them and to reveal something perhaps about them that they wouldn't normally uh, make known in their own broadcasts. So in the case of the social media, first ones that, that come to my mind are people that I've watched for a while, and some of them are big-name uh, personalities, and some of them are... Uh, rather obscure, but uh, they are all over the board. And so I'm going to be mentioning some of my favorites. And of course, if you have some ideas about what you would have, want to have at your table, please chime in in the chat. And I'd love to discuss those personalities. And if you hear something that I recommend or suggest that you uh, think is a bad idea or whatever, feel free to post that as well, because I'd like to have a conversation going about these things. I don't necessarily like the monologue role, but then again, it's kind of where I've found myself to be in the last few uh, months of doing these broadcasts. So today we are going to be talking about the Dream Team. And in particular, I want to talk about at first the social media. And some of these folks, I'll mentioned by the shows that they do rather than by their names because quite frankly when you watch somebody on a show you don't it's a one-way communication and just like if you're watching me you may not get to know much about me as i said my name is jonathan albin and i've been a game master and storyteller for very close to 50 years and so i've got some of somewhat of a legacy but i don't really have a huge following yet and i think partially it's because the role-play environment is such a uh, insular and small category of people. Now, if you uh, know some of the names of the people that I'm referring to, I think that'll be helpful. But it doesn't; it's not it's going to be necessary uh, if you aren't, and that'll be okay too. Now, I do want to go and check my video output, make sure everything is looking okay. And uh, I'll be trying to monitor for when the commercial breaks come so that I don't uh, inundate you or cover stuff when you're not watching. But I may, may or may not catch those, but I'll uh, endeavor to do so. Now, uh, social media for personalities. The first, first group I think would be really fun to have at a table would be a group of people that perhaps wouldn't nor normally be even considered. And that would be for example, the uh, people at um, Daily Wire. Uh, I'm not left of center by any stretch. I'm a, a rather a, a kind of a right-wing personality, but uh, you will find that I am probably one of the more uh, enlightened of, of the right, so to speak. And so the idea of having... Um, Ben Shapiro and 
uh, Matt um, and all of the other personalities at, at that network would be a fun group to watch how they twist in the wind as they role play. They obviously are good performers and good at presenting and speaking and such. And they are very, they seem to be very improvisational. So they probably do just fine, but it would be a fun possibility. Now, what we're going to be building is a dream team. So in each category, we're going to actually be looking at fundamentally only one person per uh, category. So who would be the one social media personality that you would like to see? Now, some of the obvious ones would be, you know, PewDiePie or Mr. Beast, somebody who's already super well known on the online community. Um, there are those, like I said, from uh, live from a uh, daily wire that would be kind of fun i can imagine how much fun uh we would have in in learning what uh various big big name uh celebrities might do in role play environment and those of us who are role players that have experience would probably be rubbing our hands for a chance to give the, uh, these kind of personalities a go as far as a role player. And we can discuss not only whom we might imagine to be at the table, but uh, what kind of uh, subject matter and theming we might want to participate with that person on. So uh, feel free to jump in with any kind of commentary. Uh, some of the people beyond the obvious big names, because obviously that would be self-serving to be just talking about the ones that would support, you know, improve uh, my channel's performance. But the idea of seeing how the various um, persons might um, uh, like a good example of somebody that I would, I would love to see at a table just for the sake of watching and imagine them be a fun person to play role play games with would be uh, Simon from the Casual Criminalist and Side Projects and all of the other little titles that uh, today's episode is brought Simon to Whistler. you by Ooh. there's Simon himself. Um, the the idea of having a, a personality like that who is knowledgeable on a wide wide array of subjects and be uh, pretty interesting to speak with. It'd be great to see how they might role play. Now, some of these people that I'm thinking about may never have done it before, and that itself would make for an experience to watch them go through the uh, excitement and drama of being able to play a role play game for the first time. But I also would like to take some some ideas of people that are already in uh, even this medium and give them an opportunity to um, to play in a role play game in a way that we could you know experience and watch. Obviously, I'm speaking specifically of those that might be fun to have on a live RPG game here on Twitch, and thereby uh, expand the awareness of Uh, another uh, good example of somebody I'd love to see at the table. I've I've heard her talk about her adventures for a while. Uh, is uh, the personality behind Discourse Minis? She has a very clear opinion over role play games and miniatures games, particularly Warhammer 40k and the like. And I think that her uh, quaint dialect, her accent would be kind of charming to have at the table as well. And she's already let on that she's game mastered a considerable amount of times and she uh, plays with the regular group. So the idea of bringing on some people who have veteran experience would be a nice mix. So perhaps uh, the, our social personality choice might include uh, uh, that young lady. Um, and of course, I'm probably in trouble with genders and all kinds of things over the time, time of this conversation, because uh, although I am rather enlightened in certain subjects, I uh, am I will fall behind my obvious limitations and boundaries, because after all, I'm old. And so uh, I may 
screw up on those people who have problems with or issues with pronouns. But uh, I think that it would be really fun to have perhaps uh, a, a Brett Cooper or a uh, Matt Walsh personalities, maybe, um, again, dealing with social media personalities, there's so many varied ones that I could talk about. The uh, gentleman that does, uh, oh gosh, I can't even remember what all the shows are called that I watch. It's really funny how I'm follower on their shows, but I don't necessarily track it all. The um, Shad from Shadiversity, obviously, He's got a lot of role play experience and has written his own materials as well. So he would be a obvious choice to have at your table. Uh, what would you think if you're watching and you've got some ideas about what you would like to include or would think would be great at the table? Who would you have and who would you want to have uh, on the show? There's a there's a, diff a million different ones. I'm going to be going through each one of these for, for a few minutes, and then we'll cycle back to them. Let's go on to the next category here. Currently active movie and TV stars. And I'm going to not get their names right because I don't watch a lot of current media. But the uh, young woman who plays in the show Wednesday, I think, would be a hoot to have in a role-playing game. I think she has enough of a a cheerful spirit and a kind of a dark cleverness that would make for a good role play experience. Um, as far as I, I keep having, having to hesitate when I say current, because there are uh, so many new shows out there that have um, kind of uh, flooded into the market over the last decade or so since I've been uh, not actively pursuing watching the newest movies out there. But I would ex uh, uh, open it, obviously, to... I mean, it's almost redundant to say say that any of the actors in the Marvel MCU because the... the or DC MCU for the uh, DC uh, Extended Universe... Uh, anybody who is in a, a superhero role or is familiar with uh, that genre more than likely has at least a passing understanding of role, playing roles, obviously, if they're actors. But um, one in particular that I think would be uh, particularly suitable would be uh, maybe um, Chris Pine. Uh, obviously, with his run in Honor Among Thieves, he's got a clear understanding of the mechanics of RPGs. And while he definitely played a great uh, role, you know, argu argumentatively a bard slash rogue or whatever with musical talent, um, he, he's only an one, one slight example. The entire cast, you know, would be a great RPG group. Just throw them in different characters and see how they go. But beyond that, if we're only going to pick one, person from among the movie stars there are so many uh fine actors and performers that it seems almost redundant to as i said to suggest them for an rpg but i think there are several of them that that might be uh more suited than others you know for example the uh, uh actors in the past couple of uh past couple of seasons of stranger things they already have a an understanding and a penchant for uh, the fantasy setting and, and, and uh, role play games, so perhaps they would be really kind of good at it. Um, um, obviously, bigger bigger names with a uh, longer legacy would include obviously Vin, Vin Diesel, who's already stated he's an advocate and has actually has been on at least uh, one episode of Critical Role, so he understands the concept of playing a character in a tabletop game environment, I think it'd be fun to put them in a theater of the mind where they actually have to visualize where they are rather than seeing a, a set or a um, miniatures terrain, whatever. We're going to be going to commercials here in about a minute, so I'll, get, I'll, I'll switch categories once we get to the commercial. But until uh, then, some other actors or movie stars from the current group that I think would be uh, really fun would be Sandra Bullock. Looks like she'd be a lot of, a lot of fun to engage with in an, in a role playing setting. Um, 
there's obvious ones, Alan Tudyk, Nathan Fillion, these names, although they may not be in an episode, a series right now, these are all currently active movie stars and actors, and they would be really, really good at the concept. Now, after we come back from commercials, we're going to talk about my next category, but at this point I want to thank you for watching Nikos RPG and Game Master Soapbox. And uh, if you like what you see, make sure you follow the channel here on Twitch. And if you get an opportunity to check out our videos over at YouTube. I honestly don't know how long the commercials are here, so I anticipate that we will be reminded when the commercials are about over, but I haven't seen that notification yet. Alrighty, so and we are continuing this conversation about who would be the dream team of a celebrity role-playing cast if you were going to be creating a Twitch RPG-style game. Who would you want to be sitting at the table with you? And so we're going to be talking in this segment in particular about politicians or candidates. Now, I know there are a lot of people that would like to keep the uh, reality out of their RPG or their um, the reality separate from their fantasy, but I think it would be a hoot to have a table with somebody from the political and political environment just to show how fun they are and, and put them in a situation where we can play through situations that would be analog to things they might run into in real time, not necessarily to you know, catch them in a trap or, you know, poke fun at them, but instead to actually see how they would react. So the first one I'm going to put out there, I think would be absolutely amazing, would be Harry Reid. Uh, as you may know, he is a, uh, I believe he's a senator who has been at it for a long time and is a particular, has a particular soft spot for extraterrestrials and uh, UFO awareness and things like that. And I think his, his quick wit and his sharp mind might be a particularly suitable player for a role play game. I think that would be just a hoot. And, uh, gosh, obviously there's the obvious no brainers that actually have games experience, um, such as, Oh, I, I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger or whatever. There are other players, other persons in the political environment that would be fun to play. I think that uh, Ron DeSantis might be fun. I think that uh, uh, I think Kamala Harris would be hysterical as a role player. I I I, I don't know how she would react, and I don't know how possible that might be. But I think that would be kind of hysterical. 
the local polit- political scenes I don't I don't follow nearly as uh, strenuously as I might, so I can't call out my, my local congressman or senator. But certainly anybody who has any visibility would be fun to have at the table. I think that uh, there are people who are not even politicians yet or that are even candidates yet that would be uh, appropriate from the, uh, I guess you call it the public theater, public arena. That would be kind of enjoyable um, um, Senator Kennedy. Uh, uh, There are just a lot of people that that might fit into this. There are some that would be a train wreck to watch as well. And so from a viewership standpoint, they might be a lot of fun. But from a game master standpoint, they might be a, a pill to deal with. So I don't want to go into any particular names. But let's go on to the next category, which is older TV and movie cast members. Now, when I say older, I can be referring to the last uh, decade, or I might be talking about maybe the last five decades since I've been uh, a game master. There are certain people I think that would be absolutely a hoot to have at the table. So, um, uh, for example, uh, anybody from the Babylon five series. I'm certain that those persons, and I do know in particular that, uh, uh, several of the cast members did attend role-playing game events that I was involved with early on in my career when I was working with, uh, the game manufacturers association, that would be a hoot. Um, uh, uh, Bruce, Bruce Campbell and Bill Campbell would both be great examples. They obviously have a, penchant for ludicrous and silliness and, you know, improvisation. So they would probably be really adequate. Um, Jim Carrey, I think would be amazing. That would be, that'd be great to have him sitting at the table. Uh, Going back further, of course, anybody from uh, the Battlestar Galactica recent series would be great. They'd be a lot of fun. Edward James Almas, I'm certain, would be stellar. Of course, a lot of these people may not have the patience or the inclination, but it would be great to have a group of older cast members that kind of get to reprise personalities. Uh, Kevin Sorvo or or, uh, from uh, the Hercules series and other shows that he's done would be, he's, I mean, he obviously has a understanding of the fantasy genre and the physical requirements that such would would place on a persona. So he'd probably be pretty good. <clears throat> Other older TV, uh, I mean, granted, we're talking about people that are A, still alive, and B, viable. Lindsay Wagner from The Bionic Woman, that would be, a, she would be a, a great pick as well. You could you could name off probably a hundred actors that that could fit. Um, I mentioned the people from Serenity. I know that <clears throat> uh, uh, Jewel State, uh, uh, Alan Tudyk, uh, Ms. Baccarin, um Nathan Fillion. These are all play- people who have already said that they were sad to see the show go. And so, if you were able to run a role playing game in a, say, a space environment or a uh, science fiction theme story, they might be really good, obvious choices as well. As far as uh, older uh, TV and movie actors, there are so many. Many of the Star Trek crew that are uh, still with us would be great to have at a table, from uh, George Takai to um, the revered Mr. Shatner. I, I, William Shatner would be would be a, an obvious choice. Uh, they've always they <clears throat> many of them have done recent work, uh, such as Brent Spinner, who is on the recent show. So I really can't count him as an older actor, but he um, would be an obvious plus. <clears throat> Pardon me. The idea here is that your 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 movie cast members from 
from legacy cast television and movie shows would be obviously great uh, to have on screen uh, for an RPG. Uh, moving on to the next category, we've got the idea of directors and writers, producers. Gosh, who wouldn't want to sit at a table with a gene with a goodness gracious, my uh, George Lucas. Uh, who who wouldn't want to be at the table with a Carl Reiner? Um, they they these uh, these classic directors and motion picture uh, directors writers of uh, as far as writers George R R Martin. It'd be really funny to see how he portrays a character in an RPG if he would deign himself to do so. Uh, the I mean we could go with a lot of modern uh, science fiction and fantasy authors as well, as well as some legacy ones if they were uh, amenable to it. And of course, big time producers, the, the individuals who are behind the scenes that make motion pictures work, it'd be fun to have them sitting in front of the camera and squirming with the rest of us, so to speak. So that'd be kind of enjoyable. And um, so then we move on to the next category. And this would be scientists and other professionals. And the obvious ones that just jump right out at you, uh, Bill Nye, um, George Salakis, uh, and I know that's probably a little bit on the ant scientists, but uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. These would be all great people to see put in a fantasy or a fiction setting as role players and see how they fare. And it would be great to see how they would interpret the roles of characters. Now, some 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 scientist type people, I wouldn't even know their names, but the persons who developed, um, well, obviously the big ones, uh, the Elon Musk and uh, all, all in my brain's freezing up on me here. I don't know why. But uh, the people who are on the leading edge of the current space programs would be awesome, whether they be the frontline headliners or if they were just people who worked for JPL, worked for NASA or SpaceX. These would be great to watch their brains work in an environment that is more casual and less stodgy, I suppose, than their regular workplaces. Now, the, these last two ca categories are more about people that have passed on. And I mean, there's some that we could obviously, obviously want to include. Uh, David Bowie, Alan Rickman, uh, these people that we've lost in the recent past, we all miss them. And I mean, I can obviously, David Bowie has experience with movies like Labyrinth that show that he's got the chops for this setting, but to see whether they would have the patience to be able to play um, other other persons from the past 30 years that have passed on. Um, gosh, my grandfather would be great to have him sit at a table. He and I never got to play role-playing games. He was uh, elderly when I got into role-playing, and so he was not uh, able to get around and such. And so we didn't, didn't get to include him in our games. That would have been a hoot. And I could go on and on if I pulled up the list of everybody who's passed away, but I'm going to go ahead and throw everything else into the history beyond that. It would be great to have uh, Nikolai Tesla at an RPG table, see how he would fare. Obviously Albert Einstein, made a lot of commentary. We'd have to have somebody as a German translator because I don't know enough German to to be able to do that. But it'd still be fun to, even if you had to work, work through a, a translator. Um, and of course, we're talking about people that are beyond history. Uh, we're, we're going to be in a, going to another set of commercials here in a second. So uh, not in a second, in a minute. So um, other people from history, Great leaders. It'd be it'd be interesting to see how how they would react. Although they probably would just rather lop your head off than talk to you. You know whether it's Genghis Khan 
or uh, Charlemagne, um, just to have them sit at a table and, and have to create fiction. That would be kind of hysterical to experience. And uh, once again, if you're uh, just joining us, this is Nikos RPG. I'm Jonathan Albin, and this is Game Master Soapbox. We will be going to a commercial break in just a few seconds. If you haven't yet, make sure you click on the like for this video and follow us to keep track of all of our new videos as they are made. Alrighty, welcome back from the commercials. I'm Jonathan Alvin, and this is Game Master Soapbox. Today we're talking about who would be on your dream team as far as putting together a celebrity RPG cast if you were going to be running an online RPG game session. And this is people from uh, the present to the past, including uh, those that have passed on, because not only would it be fun to have somebody from the from uh, the other realm come back or whatever, but simply because there are people that would be fun to have at the table. And we've gone through the list once, but we're going to kind of go over it again at this point. If you have any ideas or anything you want to add to the commentary, feel free to do so. Uh, we're going to start again with social media personalities. I've thought of a couple more persons that I think would be particularly suitable um, personalities. I did, did want to uh, reiterate that I think that uh, Simon Whistler uh, from all of his different channels from casual criminal criminalist to uh, brain blaze and such would be just a hoot. The guy's got a sense of humor and a charming uh, rather British accent. And, uh, and although he lives, I believe in Czech uh, Republic, but the, other persons that I came up with that I thought would be kind of fun would be Lucas from Lore Lodge would be a, a, a great person because he's got kind of a feel for feel for the uh, paranormal and the abstract and therefore might be uh, amenable to the idea. Uh, others would include um, Wendigo, same, same kind of an environment. Uh, obviously, somebody who's already a great storyteller would probably be a great role player would be Mr. Ballin. If you haven't watched any of his videos, these are all uh, primary characters in the social media per, uh, arena that I think would be great to have as far as 
social media uh, players. Um, the young lady, I can't ever remember her name, uh, from Unapologetic would also be great. She's from, uh, I think it's Prager University is where she got her start. And she would probably be a fun person to role play with. There are uh, dozens and dozens more social media personalities. But remember, when we get done with this uh, process of this conversation, we'll be picking one person from each of these categories to have at our table. So if you have any ideas about who you think I should consider inviting to be a part of this, Obviously, in the case of the, the, the lower two of this list, um, that they're not going to be possible in this world. Although I suppose we could get a Ouija board or something. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so uh, social media personalities is the first category. And so if you've got some ideas about who I should invite to be on the show, I mean, the obvious ones would be people that are already doing role playing. Uh, for example, Will Wheaton with his uh, tabletop gaming environment experience, he would probably be a great role player. Um, more recently, of course, anybody from Critical Role, but they already are doing it. So I'm looking for personalities that would be exciting to have on the show that don't necessarily fit in that category. So I mentioned earlier, I think that anybody or the entire group from Daily Wire would be fine. I mean, that'd be a great role play group just to see how well they that group of people handle fictional settings and whatever. I'm sure that their improvisational humor would be through the roof, that kind of thing. Um, obviously, the big obvious ones like uh, Mr. Beast and his crew would also be obviously great for role play games, but they probably wouldn't um, even consider it. But that's, a, that, you know, that, that would be a, a fun idea is to, to have the big names in uh, YouTube and whatever, actually get a chance to sit across the table and toss dice together would be kind of fun. Um, under current movie and TV actors, uh, we've tossed out some names. Uh, the entire cast of any of the uh, Paramount Plus Star Trek shows, both the live and the animated, would be obvious choices because the Science fiction and role play communities are pretty closely matched up, and it might be a good uh, opportunity for them. Uh, I, I personally would would uh, love it if uh, a Nathan Fillion or a Chris Pine, or or and I should say and I'd love to have all of them. Uh, anybody from the uh, Dungeons and Dragons movie obviously has kind of a leg up on it because they at least understand the property, and the idea is that bringing a cast of movie and TV actors more than likely not directly in a fantasy setting into a fantasy setting allows us to learn more about them and, and discover more about the persons. It, again, if you're viewing and you want to feel free to drop a chat in for your recommendations as well. I'll be looking for a consensus later on in the show about who we, sh who we might want to actually invite were we to try to pull this off. But uh, I've mentioned the fact that uh, any, actually any of the actors from Umbrella Academy would be another group of players that would be su suitable for it. Uh, the crew from Leverage, obviously everybody in there from the old series with Timothy Hutton to the modern shows would all be really fun, I imagine, to play role play games with if you could coordinate their schedules and all of that kind of thing. But we're talking about a dream team here. So Nathan Fillion, Alan Tudyk are top of the list as far as I'm concerned. Chris Pine. Um, you, obviously, you'd like to think of the bigger names like uh, Tom Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt, but those guys are obviously going to be way out of the stratosphere. And while they may be mentioned, they're, they're more than likely not, not going to be accessible. Whereas other current actors, especially in the light of the strikes and everything might be interested in looking at future alternatives that they might want to consider. And so these might be great ways to uh, invigorate their current uh, catalog and also add in a new genre of entertainment. With the next category, I'm kind of opening up rather wide politicians. There are only a few that I can think of off the top of my head, but people who are in the public domain 
might be great people to have in a role play environment so that you can explore how their mind works and how their imagination uh, takes form. I mentioned a few that I think would be great. First and most obvious person that came to my mind was Harry Reid because of his uh, admitted interest in uh, UFOs and uh, alternative realities or alternative uh, narratives. I think he would be a really good choice for a role-playing game just to see how his mind would work. Uh, some of the uh, major politicians might be hard hard pressed to participate, but even for a one-off, being able to see how a a, a Ron DeSantis or a um, um, gosh, who was the other one that I mentioned earlier? I can't remember. But the idea is that they, 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 if there's any politicians or candidates that you think. Uh, would be great for a role play game and what you, what you, how you imagine they would be perceived, I think would be really classic. I mean, there are a lot of names that would be off limits, so to speak, because of their intensity or whatever, but there are those that would be kind of fun to watch how they interact, especially the younger politicians. Uh, uh, Vivek might be a good one. I can never say his last name right, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, the, the idea is that you open you you would open up a session with a politician being a part of the games group because obviously they're going to be good at the diplomatic portions of the RPG, but they would also um, be very uh, driven by thought that they might not otherwise consider, and that might be a, a useful thing for us all, right? Um, under the category of older TV movie casts, obviously every TV or movie that has a science fiction bent to it would be obviously good uh, choices. Shows like uh, Stranger Things is, an, is a no-brainer, anybody from, from the, those kind of casts. But in particular, what I'm considering is those persons who have had experience in the genre but are no longer currently involved with something like that. So um, maybe a Mark Hamill or, I mean, granted, we're talking huge names here, and this is a dream team list, after all. I'm just reaching out to the top of my hat. Uh, Zachary Quinto hasn't been on anything in the very recent past that I'm aware of, so he would be, he'd be obviously a good choice. Um, the person who played Hero on the show Heroes would be another good one as well. As a matter of fact, any cast member from that show might be good as well. Um, going even further back than that, you've got the Battlestar Galactica, both old and new crews. If there are people that are remaining, I know there's several actors from both that are still active in other shows. Uh, Katie Sackhoff would be great, I imagine, as would be just about everybody from the Babylon, uh, Babylon 5 series. Now, granted, some of them are up in age because they were older than me, <laughs> obviously, and, and I'm getting up there in years. But the um, the idea of bringing on even uh, legacy actors like um, J uh, Lindsay Wagner from Bionic Woman. Uh, she's been in several things, uh, albeit not necessarily recently, but she's a she's a great, solid actress. Uh, Brendan Fraser. I would I would. I would make a personal invitation to any of the people that I'm mentioning. Reach out if you want to be a part, because I would love to have you. Uh, Brendan Fraser, uh, even even before uh, The Whale, the, the guy's been a phenom to me. Uh, Rick O'Connell will always own a part of my brain space, so to speak. Um, Bill Campbell and Bruce Campbell, uh, they would both be... Uh, great at the table. I imagine Bruce probably has played role play games before. And I know that Bill Campbell at least was uh, able to participate at one of our games conventions. I don't know if he actually played an RPG, but he was there and was uh, amenable. Uh, other, other older actors from basically any type of programming, even daytime TV, John Stamos would be a great 
add-on, for example. Um, we're getting ready to go to commercial again here in about 30 seconds. Uh, this is Nikos RPG, and I'm Jonathan Alvin, also known as Game Master J. And this is Game Master Soapbox. Uh, when we come back from the commercial, we're going to continue. We're in the area of older TV and movie cast members that would be optimal for a role-playing great group. And I'd love to get your input. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you check out patreon.com slash Nikos for more information on how to become part of our community. All right, welcome back. This is Jonathan Alvin, and this is Game Master Soapbox, Nikos RPG, and we are talking about who the dream team would be for a celebrity RPG broadcast. Um, at this point, we are through our list uh, one and a half times. We're working down the list again, and uh, by the end of the show, I'd like to have put together a tentative list of people we would like to see in such a show if we had the opportunity and I'm using a broad spectrum here because I want to think outside the box for who would be great at the table. And some of them are going to be obvious. Some of them are going to be rather obscure. And if you're watching and would like to uh, submit your recommendations, feel free to uh, drop them in the chat. I'm here uh, live and you can also, obviously, and you can also, if you want to uh, join our uh, Discord and actually come on and speak with me directly if you if you want. There we do have a level of our Patreon program that su that supports you actually participating in our game sessions online as well. If you want to know more about how to become a part of our group, <clears throat> feel free to check that out. Now we are in the category of older TV and movie cast members, and I I don't want to discard dis. Uh, discount anybody above a certain age or anything like that. As a matter of fact, in my regular games group on Monday nights, I have uh, nearly, Jean is, I think, 78 years old, 77 years old. And so she is a great uh, example. It doesn't matter to me the age of the player because their their age in the game is whatever they choose to be. And so the uh, if we use, utilize older cast members, like if we were to, to get a uh, uh, William Shatner or 
George Takai from the old Star Trek series or Lindsay Wagner from the Bionic Woman or who knows, Brendan Fraser from The Mummy. If we are able to get these older cast members, I think it would be except, ex exceptional to give them an opportunity to participate in kind of the new media aspect of role-playing. And having said that, other names of actors that I think would be great to have in a uh, TV movie cast from older movies would be uh, the young woman and she, uh, from the original V who played Diana. I've, I've seen her in several different things and she's got a rapier wit and it would just be fun to have people from an older generation who maybe never got an opportunity to play role-playing games to get to play in an environment that is uh, where the game is quick to learn, easy to play, such as Nikos RPG, and therefore it doesn't take a lot of work. Ah, oh, there you go. Thank you, Strigley. Welcome back, Strigley. I haven't seen you in a long time. Glad to have you. Christopher Judge is a good example. Uh, you can go through a whole list now that you got me going with the, the Christophers, all of the Christophers. Um, like I said, I mentioned one of them. Uh, Jim Carrey was on my list already. Uh, Chris Pine is another one. Chris Pratt. I have to tell you that there was a interview he did on British television. I can't remember the host's name, but it will never, it will always stick in my brain. He said that once you understand it this way, you'll never be able to say his name normally anymore. The name of Chris Rat. The idea of Chris Rat just pops in my head now every time I hear any of the Chris's. Jim Carrey would be a great one. Uh, it, it's a challenge sometimes with some of the actors because their lives are so filled with other things that they wouldn't even consider it. And this is, after all, a dream team. So it's not even that we have to be only in the case of reality but yeah jim carrey oh Maisie, oh yeah definitely Maisie would be great uh we could we could go down the list of uh, basically all of the science fiction um, paranormal shows i mentioned earlier that the, the actors from umbrella academy any one of them or in or all of them would be great um some players that I think would be awesome. I mean, I can't imagine it, but I would be awesome to play a role-playing game with uh, Michael Ironsides. Or um, uh, I've already mentioned that uh, Lindsay Wagner, she's such a quick wit and such a fun person. It'd be awesome to be able to sit across the table and, and, and pass conversations back and forth with them in a role-play environment. And uh, feel free to keep popping names in strictly. I'm I'm open to all kinds of invitations because at this point we're just building the dream team, dream team master list. And then we'll kind of go back and, and, and filter down to who we would get if we could get in the world. Oh, you can't stand the time traveling kid. Yeah. I think they, they made him pretty much intentionally annoying. Uh, I like the story. I like the way he fits into the story, but obviously the other members, Yes, there we go. Johnny Depp, um, but he's not considered an older actor because he would be in our currently active movie movie stars category. But yes, Johnny Depp. Uh, uh, Helen Mirren. Talk about an old, older actress. Oh, Helen Mirren would be such a charmer. Um, Bruce Willis, Mel Gibson. You know, you could go all kinds of places with that because he's going to fit in several different categories. Um, those that would be good. Um, Tom, Tom Harden, uh, any of the Toms that are in Hollywood right now, I, you know, even I know people give, uh, yes, see Robin Williams fits into the people with, from the last 30 years. Yes. He, Robin Williams would be a hoot. Um, now there's a bit of an anecdote there. I actually got to play a miniatures game with him one time. Uh, this would have been about, uh, 25, almost 30 years ago. I played a uh, Warhammer 40k, and most people don't know it, but he played, uh, of all things, a Harlequin army. And I only had to play it once, so it was a really long time ago, but it was uh, out at a game store in the Hollywood area. And, uh, oh, yeah, what's really funny is that guys like that are so normal. You know, they they don't see themselves as celebrity. They see themselves as just guys. And so, yeah, yeah, he was, he was, a, he was, a, he was an amazing, 
amazing person. And of course, he made all kinds of quips and jokes playing the Harlequin and stuff like that. He had a million of them. And we had to keep uh, coming back to the game. Come on, next turn, next turn, because we would have sit there and just pick him for stories to death otherwise. Uh, pretty much, pretty much. There were a couple of movies he did that were rather uh, strained versions of himself. Um, I really liked 24-Hour Photo, but it was probably the most disturbing film I ever saw him in because he's playing a good man trying to do right, but all the way through you're thinking he's a creep. You're thinking he's bad news. And it's intentional. That's the way that they wrote the film. But yeah, he's... He's a, uh, uh, I like I said, I only got to play the, the the one game of miniatures with him because he was at a store, and he wasn't promoting anything. He just was there to play, and so that it was just uh, as far as how he played himself in movies. I, I don't I don't know enough about him, but I can tell you that that movie Twenty Four Hour Photo was probably one of his most difficult to part to play parts, and yet. Probably one of his uh, solid, most solid performances as an actor. Oh, Billy Bob Thornton, as far, uh, the older actors. Billy Bob Thornton would be a lot of fun. Although you probably couldn't keep his attention span. Uh, <laughs> Tom Waite would be another one. Um, somebody mentioned one just the other day, and he's been in Star Trek as recently as Enterprise is... Uh, uh, gosh... Why can't I think of his name? He played the Kurgan in Highlander. Come on, Rain. What is his name? Ah, Clancy Brown. Yeah, there we go. Clancy Brown. Um, Mike Myers, I don't know. Mike Myers might be, he might be, if anything, I, I imagine if we were talking about it from a play standpoint, I imagine Mike Myers is going to be your YOLO, murder, hobo, punch every button in the book kind of guy. He might be a very clever actor. I think that it, perhaps a uh, Dana Carvey might be a, a really good one. Terry Crews. Oh, God, yes. Terry Crews is a great example. I'm I would play a role play game with T Terry Crews at any time. And um, that would also be true of, I think, uh, Will Smith, although I don't think you could get Will Smith to sit still long enough anymore. He's such a busy guy. And uh, I know that uh, there's all kinds of drama surrounding him, but it would be, it would be fun. Oh, as far as um, other older actors. Oh, Terry Crews did? Oh, 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 Tom Waite. Yeah. Yeah. Mercer, Mercer has a, a great pull from the Hollywood crowds. So, um, yeah, the, I've hit Vin Diesel under the current category because of his most recent movies and stuff. Yes, Vin Diesel is an obvious choice. Uh, Will, uh, Will Wheaton is an obvious choice. Um but these are people who are also already gamers. So grabbing um, grabbing other uh, aspects would be kind of fun. Like uh, uh, I think her name is Mar Marina Marissa. I'm going to name, name her Baccarin from Deadpool would be great. I've seen her in V. She's amazing. And so she'd be obviously a really good one as well. Yes. Act, especially we could go back. There we go. Going back into the Doctor Who annals and we could pull just about everybody back there and, and, and they'd be a hoot to play with from um, the obvious ones like David and Matt, but also the Rory. I think Rory would be a lot of fun at an RPG table as would Rose and many of the companions. Not that I'm looking to necessarily pad the, audio, pad the uh, cast with female actors, but they would be great. Which one can't you? Which one don't you stand? You don't like Rory? <laughs> okay. 
That's fair. That's fair. I, I like Rory, I, I, his dedication. I think it's because I see him typified in my own life. When I got, when I got married, I intended to be married for a lifetime and consider myself to be a Rory like personality. But, uh, I know you don't like, um, yeah, that's the other, the other, uh, I can, I can see her. She's in the library. She's been saved. Yeah. And, um, I think that the, uh, newer, uh, companion, Martha might be really good as well. She might be a lot of fun. Um, and as far as actors from the series, Peter Capaldi would be an amazing RPG choice. Just his his demeanor and his carriage would be great. I, I think that uh, John Hurt, actually anybody from that generation, you could pick up. Uh, gosh, if you go back and look at the old Star Treks and things like that, you go back and look at Christopher Plummer or, uh, gosh, Name, name any of the people who played Klingons. Um, why can't I remember his name that played Worf? I'll think of it here in a second. They would all be good as well. But I want to move for a second on to directors. We mentioned a couple that would be fun, and we got a commercial break in a minute. So let me run down some of the directors that I've already suggested. Uh, Peter Jackson would be a good one. Uh, George Lucas would be a good one, of course. Uh, Spielberg, if you could get him from anything else he's doing, uh, Ronnie Howard, uh, Rob Reiner, and gosh, so many other new ones. Uh, Wachowskis would be great as well. They'd be fun because they'd be completely different. And yeah, John Hurt would be amazing. Yes. And so, uh, we are getting ready to go to commercials. So do remember if you haven't already follow the channel. Uh, if you haven't yet, go to uh, YouTube and follow us at, U at Nikos RPG on YouTube. Um, and uh, we will be back after this break. See you soon.
it should be giving me a warning it coming back from commercial here in a minute so if we're already back let me know Alrighty, I don't know if I'm back from commercials or not, so I'm going to go ahead and start again. If I'm not, I'll be repeating myself here in a few seconds. But when we're talking about directors, writers, and publishers, should also, producers should also probably include in my list of uh, directors. Um, oh, it's not telling me that I'm back yet. Strictly, am I back from commercial yet? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry for that, folks. Oh, goodness gracious. I bet you were looking at me going, that's weird. No, so um, directors, obviously the big names that we all, we all know would be fun, but uh, directors for... Uh, some uh, TV programs would be be interesting as well. The uh, gentlemen that do South Park would be fun to role play for them and be a game master for, for those guys. Maybe include the uh, matter of fact, it'd be a fun show just to do all of the um, writers and producers for all the animated shows out there from uh, Lower Decks to uh, South Park, you know, the whole genre, so they'd be fun. Uh, alternatively, the the idea would be to get writers of both classic science fiction and modern sci-fi as well. Uh, uh, Neil Gaiman would be would be great. It'd be wonderful to have him at the table and, and playing. Matter of fact, can you imagine a game where we get Neil Gaiman and uh, George R. R. Martin to play characters in the same same environment, that'd be hysterical, as well as uh, the Wachowskis, that'd be a, a, a fun group as well. The idea is to to have people that aren't experienced in role playing get a chance to experience it with other people that aren't experienced with it or may have only a tangential understanding of it. Um, now, when we talk about scientists and other professionals, obviously the big names like uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson would be amazing. Uh, Bill Nye, obviously, who's already done some forms of role play by being involved in movies like uh, uh, Dr. Horrible's, uh, that peep, uh, Neil Patrick Harris joint. Uh, mentioning back an older actor, Neil Patrick Harris would be fun to role play for as well, to be a game master for. Um, but, uh, the head of JPL, the head of NASA, the, anybody who is in a very serious role in science fiction, if you'd love to be a, a hoot to run a sci-fi kind of a game for them, or even better run them in a fictional setting that doesn't have any direct science association and therefore give them some, uh, free reign to uh, be creatives. Um, now we can go to the subject you mentioned a bit ago when we were talking about um, actors that passed away. Uh, Robin Williams, we mentioned him before. Uh, he would be amazing. As a matter of fact, that would be a dream team table right there alone. Robin Williams, Alan Rickman, Dan, uh, David Bowie. You know, these, these, 
they, they are avant-garde creative individuals and be able to give them an opportunity to express themselves in a, I mean, granted, we're talking dream team here since uh, we're not going to be able to get them at our table until we go to join their table, as the saying goes. But uh, there are, uh, my, my daughter, Jera, would be a, another great one. I, I don't mean to go melancholy on you, but she's been gone just at 30 years this year. So Jera would be, it should be nice to have her back. Um, the idea that people from, that, that we love being able to be a part of our lives again through role play would be a great way to remember them and experience them in a way that would be unique to our experience with them. So uh, when we talk about people from history beyond that, of course, we're talking about um, some other f people that I think would be fun to have at a table would be Red Skelton. If you haven't seen any of his material, Red Skelton, uh, Will Rogers, Samuel Clemens, all of these people that are great writers, clever minds, quick-witted, they'd be great. It might be a little harder to see a, pardon me, uh, Walt Whitman or... Uh, Theodore Roosevelt at an RPG. They just simply wouldn't be able to gra grasp it. But I imagine there'd be a lot of dynamics that would play out if you could get a Sammy Davis Jr. at your table. Can you imagine what, what that would be like? Or uh, Bob Hope, Bob, um, perhaps more recent, uh, Bob Newhart. Uh, Sid Caesar, anyone that's got a comic bone in their body because role play games are predominantly humorous encounters. Granted, some people take it very seriously or whatever, but for the most part, it's a it's a rollick, a fun time to be had by all. And so, now that we've kind of gone over these lists a couple times, I do want to come down here in the last half hour of the show or whatever to actually talk about who we could get. And I've got a a pre-built screen over here. Let me switch over to it that I'm going to be writing in the names that we come up with for who we'd, we would want in each of these categories. So we are talking about playing role play games and talking about a, the social media personality that we would want to invite. I've mentioned uh, several, probably close to a dozen. If there are any that you in particular find fascinating that you think should be included, I'm including people in my in my small set, such as uh, Simon Whistler from um, Casual Criminalist and other shows like that. He's done a bunch of different side projects and other videos. Um, Brain Blaze, I think, was his original. Uh, there's obviously the big names like PewDiePie or Mr. Beast, but I don't think they'd be I don't know. They might be fun to play with, but I don't know. They seem pretty intense individually. Uh, I also mentioned that it'd be fun to invite the entire Daily Wire staff and run a game just for them because they are uh, so uptight and so set in their ways. It'd be fun to watch them break free in a role play game and uh, develop characters and all of that. Um, also, Aiden from Lore Lodge. Seems to be a fairly solid individual. Mr. Ballin, if you're not familiar, check out his videos as well. These are all uh, people that in the social media realm are well-known and would probably be a lot of fun. So I don't have a particular name in mind. If you are uh, on with me, Strigley, if you've got somebody in particular that you think that uh, I should include, uh, I know your your in instinct is to type Matt Mercer, right? So, but he already has his own show, so I won't be including him. Hardy har har. So, we got another commercial coming. Goodness gracious, they're coming fast and furious now. Ah, you say no, Matt Mercer. Good, good, good. I was afraid you'd be... Uh, 
ragging me about it the other the other day we talked about it uh whether or not uh i thought he was a quality game master or whatever so i thought you might make a joke about it yes and speaking of way too generic uh we are going to go to a commercial break and if you haven't yet check out nikos rpg uh the new role-playing game that's available at lulu.com just go to lulu.com and in the bookstore search box, put Nikos RPG and you'll find us. Uh, we'll be back after this commercial break with uh, more of the show and we'll start putting on our final list of our wish, our dream, dream team for. Oh, I didn't go to commercial? It told me we were going to commercial. That's pretty funny. I don't know what it was doing. Maybe there's somebody else that's watching on a different time frame, but it told me we were going to commercial. Sorry about that. So, social media personalities. Like I said, I've rattled off a few of them that I would, would like to invite. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in here, on as far as my choice, if you got somebody that in, in, in the social media world that you'd prefer, go ahead and type that in as well. I'm going to be putting in Simon Whistler. There's my initial choices for that slot. Ah, yes. I said what commercial. I told you commercial. That's adverts. Adverts, commercials. America versus the rest of the world. Okay, so that's what I meant when I said commercial. Adverts, they're the same kind of thing. So when I say commercial, that, that means um, advertisements or advertisements, depending on how you pronunciate your words as wordagements. Alrighty, so I put down Simon Whistler, Mr. Ballin, and uh, anybody from the Daily Wire crew, I think would be great. Can you imagine Jordan P. P. Peterson as an RPG player? I get a kick out of that. Uh, we're going to now talk about uh, current or uh, recent, uh, actually current movie stars or uh, TV stars. I'm going to put down the ones that, that, that I think are, maybe they're not necessarily likely, but ones that would kind of probably be my first choices. Well, Jeremy's not a recent. I'll put him in the other category. Chris Pine. Um, I probably spelled David's name wrong. Who else would we want? Um... Well, if we're going to be wishing and it's a dream team, and he's been in everything else, why not? So the next category are politicians. And 
this is not necessarily a currently elected politician. This could be a candidate or somebody who was in office before. It needs to be somebody who is uh, theoretically still alive, so to speak. So what I'm going to be putting down for my choice is one that I've mentioned two or three times already today. I think it would be really funny. Um, I don't remember names well enough to know politicians. And anybody in particular you think would be uh, kind of fun. Obviously, you could put down um, somebody like a Donald Trump, but I don't think that would be very uh, fun, so to speak. I think that would be more of a burden than it would be worth otherwise. Let's see. Who else might we want as far as... No, politicians aren't boring. Politicians... If, if you if you get them if you get them out of their environment they can be a hoot if you haven't listened to anything Harry Reid has had to say he's a, a Democrat politician from uh, Nevada but he is a big time proponent for releasing information about uh, extraterrestrials uh, paranormal etc so he's a kind of a fun fun character to listen to so he would be fun um, as far as the big names, yeah, most of the big names uh, are going to be too protective of their own. And maybe I'm a little uh, too uh, optimistic. I think somebody like Harry Reid might be fun, especially with his age, because he's going to have different perspectives than the, the younger crew, so to speak. Now, when we talk about the cast members for older TV shows, this list could go on forever. Uh, I'm going to put down like my top, top. And not because I'm just, not just because I'm a fan of Firefly, which I am, Brown Coats Unite, but he, these, these guys are both uh, very good at improvisational stuff. And these have to be, this category has got to be play, uh, people who are alive and acting in the current environment. I've already mentioned Chris Pine and, and such like, but these are people who are uh, legacy actors. They may not be currently in any films, but they are um, I can see the face of one more I want to put in here. Uh, I'll think of it in just a second. There it is. Popped into my head. Only because I went and looked. I think Kevin Sorbo would be fun, mainly because he's an actor who couldn't take himself very seriously, but he did play in a fictional fantasy setting, and so he's already aware of the environment. So at least he might have some kind of a feel for it. Uh, in the case of directors, um, I already mentioned several. I'm probably mis misspelling their names. If there's any, uh, if there's any other directors you can think of, there might be one or two that might go in there instead of, of those. But that's my initial thought. As far as the scientists are professional, there's some obvious, oh, I want to add another writer in there too. Let me go back and change that. A 
and I'm probably misspelling his name as well. As far as scientists or, or, or professionals, this is, I use the term science or professional because there are some of them that are distinctly scientists and others that are science tangential. In other words, they may be authorities on subjects, but not necessarily truly scientists. So we're going to put in here. There's probably several others we could add to that list as well. Uh, the idea of bringing in somebody who's very technically aware, but not necessarily um, specifically tied into the environment that you're playing in would be great. So bringing all of these in and dropping them into a fantasy setting where the physics of magic would it would trump their their knowledge of physics in the real world would be kind of fun. Uh, this next category, this is, uh, now we're talking totally dream teaming here. We're talking about people, player, persons who passed away in the last 30 years. That would be, uh, and we would all love to see back for a game of RPG, uh, an RPG game of some sort, or just actually you'd want to see them back anyway, but. That's the first three that popped into my head all three times when I thought about them. Anybody in particular you can think of for any of these lists, feel free to add them in. I'll see what I can do. I know we don't have a lot for the politicians because they ended up being... Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go Let's go back. I got to change that because that there's one in particular because he's been in lots of stuff and he does... He would probably be pretty funny to add. I also saw a very funny episode of uh, Star Trek Enterprise recently where Scott uh, Bakula was back on the same screen with uh, uh, Dean uh, Stockwell, which was really funny to see. So when we get down to the historical figure, this is persons that are not from our generation or even from our part of the world and can be anybody from history. Who would we want to have sitting at our table? Uh, well, that's a good point. Oh, from my generation? No, I'm talking about from beyond my generation. Thank you very much. So, yes. Okay, <laughs> there we go. That's actually not a bad choice. Uh, I've actually had that discussion with several people when I was younger. I was uh, sort of, I took it on myself to be an apologist for role play games. And quite often I utilized uh, the stories and uh, parables of Jesus. Um, another, uh, other other persons that would be fun to have at a role playing table, I imagine. Actually, I thought of some other names that I'd rather put on this list since we only have a little bit of space. Um, fingers.
That's a spread. <laughs> That's every category, pretty much. Oh, you'd want to play with Chuck? I, I, I don't know. He does have a good imagination, though, so maybe, maybe so. There we go. So we now have a pretty broad list now. In the case of the last two categories, uh, we can't... Don't know who Billy T. James is. I'll have to go check that person out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. I have to go back and fix Today's that. Today's episode is brought to you by Ooh. Surfshark. Hush. More hush. Hush, hush, hush. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's go back and put him up here, though. Let's go ahead and actually I'm going to bump somebody off of my list up here and put him in there instead. Yeah, he would be definitely a good choice. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much for that. That's a really good add-on. Yes, he was, definitely. You're welcome, as he would say. You're welcome. So <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. So this is a pretty good list. Can you imagine if we could get any 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 or all of these guys to want to play a role play game? My vision, my vision is to come up with a way to do a live stream RPG every week. Six people from any any and all of these categories hop in, play for one session, maybe become regulars or not and just constantly be changing the story, the genre, the flavor, the location, and just kind of mix it up. I've got uh, some friends who are in the uh, Hollywood crowd, and so they said that when I mentioned this idea to them, they said that part of this might be possible. And when I mentioned the other types of categories, they said that that would be not only possible, but more than likely probable that we could pull this together. So I'm going to hope that that's the case. But this, I think this is a, 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 a typical uh, list of the kinds of players we all would want at our game. Now we can talk about what the specifics of each would be and what characters they might want to play or whatever, but that's a subject for another show. I do want to thank you for being with us for this episode of Nikos RPG. I'm going to stay online for a little bit uh, hereafter and chat with people, but I want to formally close out this portion so I can cut it off and put it onto YouTube like this. I want to thank you for participating. And if you like what you see, make sure you like and follow and check out our channel at uh, Nikos RPG on YouTube. And for more information, check out patreon.com slash Nikos. This has been Jonathan Albin, Nikos RPG, and this is uh, the, yeah, I will put that, I will put the episode information in the chat, so in the marks. And uh, how am I planning on using these details? As far as these particular details, I'm just in a formative stage of building a plan for what might happen in the future. So it doesn't have any plan to use this in the near future. But you did mention something that I did want to talk about, and that is coming up after I get, get done with this. This is a Nikos RPG Game Master's uh, Soapbox, and this is a Characters and Play episode, and I'll put the episode number in the episode in a little bit afterwards. So 
uh, otherwise the video is only things can be watched and 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 so the the chat won't be included in that so uh, thanks and uh, let me get back to my other screen here so I can officially close this out I want to thank you for your time and we will see you next time so all righty Alrighty, so we're back on my normal channel page, and so nice to hear from you, Strigley. I haven't seen you in days. I thought maybe I I scared you away, or the planet blew up, or you got a job that took you away from our schedule or whatever, so it's really glad to see you. How's your night going? Was this an odd episode? It was just different. Yeah, it's, I think it's been like three weeks. If you're wondering what I'm doing with my face, I've got a weird feeling that the uh, Bell's palsy is acting up again, and I'm hoping that it doesn't stay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, condolences to you and their family, whoever it is. That's that's awful. And uh, you don't understand why this this uh, because I want people to think imaginatively and creatively about who they might like at their table. Um, personally, I'm doing it for my own purposes because I am I am trying to create a a show that would do all of these things. And so I was wanting to get some feedback about who people would like to see. And uh, granted, it was just a really different way of going about it. And um, granted, most of my shows are rather odd. And it's not an episode that's needed. In reality, I've had a couple of weeks where uh, many of my game masters that normally jump on and join, join me. Oh, there's a good one, too. So sometimes you can record a video for your own purposes, not for everybody else, so I suppose... That's kind of why I did this one. But it was also to, to get people thinking about what it would be like to sit down with these people in particular and across a broad spectrum. So if you had a table where you had a person from social media and a person from a movie and a politician and a, you know, et cetera, et cetera, you're going to have a very broad spectrum of uh, play and and a, and a wide array of personalities involved and such like so. Oh, nice, nice. See, I've. Oh, you got to help dig it? That's awesome. See, when I was younger, I got to do that when I was like um, seven or eight. We lived in Kansas, and my grandfather's property was a kind of a gold mine for uh, uh, fossils and such. And so science groups came out there all the time. So we would rode our bikes out to where they were, and they let us help. And I actually discovered uh, by myself a mosasaur, uh, a small reptilian fish, uh, swimming animal, maybe a foot and a half long. Oh, wow. Bigger than the emperor's. That's, that's big. Yeah. The mosasaur, the one, the, the one I caught, one that I uh, dug up or uh, excavated was about a foot and a half long, so it was a baby, and it was fully developed. It had, I, I was able to, it was contiguous, the way it died and, and was buried, 
it was all in one one chunk of rock and so I was able to determine where its length was and then <coughs> cut it off had a bug on my desk I don't normally have bugs on my desk that was weird it got away I think but scared the crap out of me yikes Yeah, so the yeah, so mosasaur normally are like forty or fifty uh, meters in length. They're really really big sea creatures. They kind of look like a crocodile with flippers instead of um, uh, feet, and are oceanic. And we discovered it in southern, I'm sorry, in western Kansas, out in the middle of the flat. And that area was at one time an undersea. It was under an ocean. And um, an inland sea, I should say. And so uh, I was like, like I said, eh, it must have been 10 or 11, maybe 12. About the same time I started playing D&D &D, a little bit before, a little bit after, something like that. Anyway, we uh, had to uh, mark it. And then we had to do exploratory little chipping maneuvers to get down to where the bone was so we could find where the terminus or the end of the tail was. And from nose to tip, it was a foot and a half long. And I was able to extricate it as an entire singular piece. And so for years, I had it traveling with me. It was on a, I had mounted it on a, on a board and, you know, affixed it with wire or whatever and held it in place. And Yeah, I bet New Zealand has been above and below the water. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing that you've got life forms on the surface after all the times you guys have been underwater. But you're so close, I guess they migrated over from either Australia or Africa, depending on how you look at it, right? Because if they, they say that, that Antarctica drifted away from the other continents, right? So... It's one of the reasons why you guys have such unique species down there is they are so separated from the others. But uh... Oh, did you get him to, did, did he bequeath it to you? Do you own an island now? That would be cool. Oh, that's a bummer. It's nice to know that you once owned it. You could at least go and bragging rights, right? I never owned an island. I've got a friend who owns an island. He actually bought a little uh, chunk of uh, rock. It's big enough to put a, a dive shed on, and he's a big-time scuba diver. And so they built a little dive shed on his little island. And so when he wants to get away, he just catches an airplane down to, I think, St. Croix and, sail, and uh, takes a little airplane over to the island from there. It's down off of Belize. Well, isn't that us all? We're all trying to make money off of what we're doing. We try to find a way to monetize it all. So that's a bummer. But the, uh, just so you know, the Wednesday group is playing mostly back online again. And if you want to uh, play, I can get you the details, Strig, if you want to. They are interested in having additional players. Anyway, getting ready to go to commercials, so uh, we'll continue after we get back from the commercial break. And uh, I should say advert break, since that's a recognized term.
Alrighty, we'll be back in just a few seconds. Thanks for watching. This is Nikos RPG. You can't see them coming, I can. Really, again, it's going to be no commercial. That's pretty funny. I'm only telling you what the screen's telling me. And it tells me when, there's, when they start, and then it theoretically gives me a countdown to when they're over, but... They're not always accurate like it wasn't that last time. There you go. Wow, that was quick. You must have been able to hit the little button and, and get past it. Alrighty. 12 seconds. That was all a short commercial. Alrighty. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down the video at this point. But uh, I'm still going to be on Discord if you want to come over and chat for a bit. And uh, if not, have a great night. And otherwise, thank you for watching, everybody. This is Jonathan Albans, Game Master Soapbox, Nikos RPG. See you guys next time.